Today we're taking a look at The Long Dark, an independent game from Hinterland Studios. It's currently deep in alpha. It's on the uh, early access on Steam. It's a survival game. It's pretty much a pure survival game. Kind of in the vein of a day Z or seven days to die, but with no zombies. Just the fight for survival. I like survival games. I like how they kind of... They're a good mix of strategy, uh, planning ahead, there's a little luck involved, but there's also always some sort of uh, combat aspect too. Daisy has zombies, this game has wolves, nasty wolves. Uh, it's not quite as intense as a lot of survival games are. Wolves are more a nuisance that you can avoid, but uh, let's get right to it. I've played about four hours of this game. I haven't really done too much. Like I said, it's early in the alpha stages. I just want to give you a rough feel for it. There's a bigger patch coming out in a few days, so I kind of want to get this snapshot of the game. So we can kind of timestamp where it is now and where it's going to be by the end of October. I'm going to start a new game. Overwrite my old one. I'm going to be a lady, because this is Jennifer Hale, my favorite voice actress in the world. So apparently the story here is like you said on the screen, or saw on the screen, some sort of geothermal event has happened. A lot of people are dead. You are not. Now you must survive. See the game has very stylized graphics. Uh, I like it for the most part. It lends itself well to the uh, isolated feel. There's not a lot of uh, rush. There's no rush of excitement. Uh, there will be no zombies. This is more of a slowly paced game where you really want to find food, supplies, a shelter. This is the Hydro Dam. In previous builds, this is one of the most feared places in the world because of a very nasty wolf that would uh, appear. Apparently they've randomized him so he's not always here. This is definitely one of the creepier locations of the game, especially when you don't have a light, which I do not. Now... Mm, this will come in handy. That's right, Jennifer Hale. This will come in handy. It's a pretty game. Like I said, the uh, stylized graphics are very simplistic. I guess it's got kind of a Walking Dead, uh, Telltale Games feel to it. I don't know if they're doing that on purpose, but that's kind of what Best you get. Best be prepared for anything. That's right, Jennifer Hale. Best be prepared for anything. Uh, safe, I will come back to in a second. Those are a little tricky to pick. First aid kit, very useful. food. Let's talk about the food. Uh, the food's very strange in this game. Not strange as in you... Oh. Well. There's a big fucking wolf. Uh, uh, oh yeah. Let's escape the wolf! Get away! Yeah, get out of here, wolf. Oh, this is trouble. Oh, this is big trouble. Oh, I killed him, and I'm bleeding to death. Uh, uh, bandage. Use. Uh, what's going on? What's going on with me? Um, Things are starting to look pretty grim. Antiseptic. All right, I need an antiseptic. Uh, use that. So, the, uh, I don't know if that this is the wolf, but this is certainly a wolf. He's dead now. Uh, if I had a knife, I could harvest his meat. Oh, I still might be able to. I'll take all your fucking meat, asshole. What do you think of that? Oh, it's late. 
Oh, it's really late. I might be staying here the night. Oh, storm lantern. What was I talking about before I shit my pants? Uh, food. Food is very weirdly done in this game. This is not the fact that you need it, but the amount you consume. I heard in the upcoming pants, pants, in the upcoming pants, like mine, full of poop. In the upcoming patch, they are uh, tweaking the food system a bit. I don't know how, I haven't really read into it, but I hope it controls the amount of food you seem to need. Because if you're not eating deer meat or wolf meat, you seem to need 40 pounds of food it. a day. Which doesn't uh, seem very nice to me. Let me quickly... Actually, I don't think I'm in any hurry now because it's very late. Let's take a quick peek outside and you will see what I mean by... How dark it might be. Yeah, it's definitely getting dark. Uh, one thing about this map, unfortunately, or fortunately, it's quite small. It's not a large map. So once you've played it for a couple hours, you kind of figure it out. I have a rough idea of where I am. There's no in-game map yet. Hopefully that's coming in this new patch. But there is a map option. And there are many... Well, a map option that doesn't work. There's a book that I can't pick up. And there are many useful online maps. Which I have maybe read. Alright, so this is a safe. Now you gotta pick these. It's, uh, I'm not gonna pick it here because it's be really boring, but the idea is you spin it. There you go. Until you hear that click. So it's right around there. If you miss it though, you have to reset to zero and then spin it again. I'm gonna guess that was around 54. Let's see if I'm right. Oh, okay, it was like 53. And then you uh, spin again to the next number. Or, or you spin the other way. Oh, that's right. To the next number. No. Oh, I am not ready to die. That's right, Jennifer Hale. We're going to live. You killed the fucking... Those guys from outer space. The Reapers. You killed the Reapers. Uh, we're not going to die to whatever the fuck. Some stupid wolf. Um, so yeah, you'll spin it to the first number, uh, you spin backwards to the next number, and then to the third number in the locks. Uh, you'll miss a couple times, so I find it's best to just write them down as you figure them out. But I'll come back to that later. I'm sprinting, which is generally bad, because like I said, you need an insane amount of uh, food. Toolkit, plastic container, search everything. And try and carry as much as you can. Obviously, you won't be able to carry everything, but it's uh, it's a good idea to get as much stuff as you can. Ah, pry bar, purification tablets. These are all useful. Okay, now I'll try and uh, open this. There we go. There'd be nothing useful in here. Oh. <laughs> okay. Uh, condensed milk. Uh, another pry bar. Right. That's very meta. Now I get to go into the creepy dark. Wait, 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 wait. Aha! Nope, that's a match. Nope, I just threw meat on the ground. I don't remember my hotkeys. I haven't played this for a couple uh, days. I think. There you go. There we go. Well, what else could be in here? I've already killed the wolf. I don't think there's any other wolves. There is a uh, sandbox mode for this game. Sandbox survival. That's what I'm playing right now. There's apparently a story mode in the works that's not released. There's also a second map that they're working on that's going to be part of the late October patch. Which I'm looking forward to because I've pretty much seen all there is. Probably useful. Oh, a fire barrel. Uh, 
What can I do here? Oh. Yeah, because I might be staying here the night. I might want to light that up later. said earlier I'm not an expert in this game the longest I've lived is five days and I I didn't die I just kind of stopped playing kind of had done all I oh my goodness that is lucky that is a rifle I was under the impression you can only find the rifle in one spot in this uh, trapper's cabin but apparently it will spawn randomly as well so I lucked out there I have nothing to shoot out of this rifle but I have it This is creepy. I don't want to look at that window. I really don't. Want, I feel like if I look at that window, there's going to be a wolf. Or even a person, even though there's no people in this game. I feel like there will just be one. So, this is going to. No. Okay. I'm lucky. I won't lie. If I saw a wolf move again, I'd probably reshit my pants. There's, well, okay, there are people, but they're dead. I'm not worried about this guy. Unless he got up. That would make me sad. Sad music. Uh, please have some bullets. Mmm, salty crackers. Ah, yes, that's another mechanic that's very, very important in this game. Finding clothing to keep warm. Wearing it. And maintaining it. Maintaining is very important for a lot of things. Everything will break down. Everything has a warmth and a windproof rating. This is a fairly good jacket, so I'll put it on. And the two I'm wearing is better than the one I found. So anything that's not an improvement, you can turn into scrap. If you have a sewing kit to repair your present clothing. This is by far the creepiest place on this map. Most everything else is log cabins and outdoorsy places. Not quite as intimidating. Oh, hunting knife. That's useful for skinning. Alright, I can put this out. Hmm, this is going to be some good footage. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. Mostly because I'm That's a flare. Don't light that up. Mostly because without this, I have no idea where I'm going. I just don't want to wander around here. So let's find our way out. Or at least our way back upstairs. Where I can kind of feel around in the dark. This is a creepy fucking hallway. No bullets. Uh, I don't know where I am anymore. Oh, uh, uh, okay. There's my calories going down. That's the food. Apparently, you can go to minus. Uh, I don't remember exactly. Over minus a thousand, fifteen hundred ish, sixteen hundred ish, I think, before you actually die. But I don't like being hungry, especially because I'm all beat up. Oh, I didn't check these drawers. I think I can use this. Yeah, I can drink the shit out of that, Jennifer Hale. Bandages are also good. All right. Maybe I'll try the safe. Get myself a notepad. All right, so we know the first number was 53. Ish. Oh, hold on. Turn this up. There we go. Alright, so reset to zero. You gotta reset to zero every time you fuck up. So let's try it again. 53. Or maybe it was 52. Alright. I'll spin back. Okay, that seemed to be about 24. Reset to zero. This is exciting. All right. Uh, 
52. Oh, maybe whatever that is. So it looks like 24. And then you go the other way. And I guess that was 42. All right. I think we got this now. Oh, there's something exciting in here. All right. This and there we go. That's how you crack a safe. You know, good at uh, being useful. How serendipitous! Rifle ammunition. That's it. But that's totally worth. Let's load up. Let's take a peek outside and see how goddamn dark and cold it is. So we pretty much searched this entire place. It seems I'm hungry. I don't have any. I have a little bit of it actually. Let's take a look. It's gonna be dark and it's gonna be cold. Things are starting to look pretty grim. Yeah. It's quite pretty though. Let's uh, let's pick this out and take a look around. I don't want to be out here too long. Jesus, it's dark. Things look hopeful in the sky. Down here. Oh, I could eat a horse. Down here, it's just cold. All right, let's go back inside. Go down to that uh, fire barrel. All right, starter. I have matches. Fuel. I have. Oh, I have not much wood. That's a problem. Accelerant. Uh, let's use the accelerant because I really need to cook this food. All right, let's cook, cook food. Cook, cook, cook. You can also uh, melt snow and boil it for water. Water is pretty important. Well, that's all I got. So let's see what I got for food. Food and drink. Yes, yeah, wolf meat. Like I'll take a look. Wolf meat's twelve fifty calories. Um, beef jerky three fifty. These candy bars are two hundred. So once you can start hunting, you're in a really good spot. So I'm going to eat this wolf meat. Ah, look at that. And I'm going to drink the soda. to uh, find my bedroll, place it, kind of ground in the dark. <laughs> All right, I will. No, I am not ready to die. Oh, there we go. I have to place it first. There we go. It was in my hand. I just couldn't see it because it's too goddamn dark. All right, it's 1 a.m. Let's uh, let's wake up at six, and hope I don't die in my sleep. <laughs>